Hi everyone, Jay Whitty here. Hope you all are having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am glad that you were here. So I had this idea that I was gonna do a swipe using all metallic paint. And my base coat, my colors of my swipes were all gonna be metallics because I just wanted to play with them and see what was going to happen. And as this painting progresses, um, it just, I guess not, it just wasn't doing it for me. And so after I do the swipe, I pick the canvas up, I stretch it out, didn't like what was happening. I swiped some more to maybe add some, uh, I don't know, I was looking for some depth and some contrast and, and that wasn't working for me and I was beginning to get a little bit frustrated with the whole concept and I thought for sure that I was going to ultimately end up swipe or scraping excuse me this canvas completely and at one point I uh, grabbed my catalyst and I run that through it to see if that would change it and and maybe do something and so the more I played with it, the more uncertain I was. I ended up adding in some more negative space. Um, you'll see me switch the canvas around quite a bit to look at it from all these different angles. Um, but I ultimately ended up saving this canvas and my end result turned out far better than I ever could have imagined. And I uh, do take you in for the wet results and the dried results at the very end. And with the wet results, there's part of the uh, negative space that I added in. Uh, I ended up doing off camera and I apologize for that. But once this piece dried, I went back in also with a brush and added in some more detail and uh, painted off the edges of the canvas uh, just to, <laughs> again, add some more interest. And, and you'll see that at the end um, of this video. So my base coat is the Modern Masters Gold Rush that's mixed with some Floetrol and Liquitex. And then I use some distilled water to thin it down. My colors that I'm using that I'm going to swipe over, I start off with, I had some leftover uh, mixture of some Artist Loft Copper, which you see here, that has a couple of uh, uh, drops of the Daz or Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Rich Espresso, just to darken it up a bit. And then I laid down I think the greens, I laid down some Modern Masters Treasure Gold Green. Uh, I think that's the one that's coming up next. Let's see. <laughs> Hurry up, Janet. <laughs> Bring the next color on. There we go. Yeah, that's the Modern Masters Treasure Gold Green Gold. And then I follow that with the Folk Art Color Shift Green Flash. Um, the two greens are, I think, nice uh, complement to each other. One's a little bit darker, the other's a little bit lighter, and I think the green flash right there is a tad bit lighter. And once I laid down, I think I laid down two. I think, yeah, I, I think I did just above the green, the darker green. Nope, only one line, sorry about that. Um, no, actually I came back in here, look at that, I came back in with the darker, the Master's Touch Treasure Gold, Green Gold. Um, I was surprised, you know, I know that metallics sink, but I was really surprised that metallics on top of metallics on top of metallics sink, sink also. Um, and this of course is the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics White Pearl. Um, I didn't know whether or not I was really going to use that, but I figured I needed something in there again to add some contrast, brighten it up maybe just a little. Um, and ultimately you'll see that that pretty much doesn't even exist in the, in the overall end result. 
and this is my swipe color and that's the folk art color shift black flash so the pouring mediums for the colors that I laid down that I'm swiping over and the swipe color is just strictly the Liquitex pouring medium effects. And again, a little bit of water to thin it out. And so I began my swipe process <laughs> and it was magical to start out with. I mean, I, I can't deny that, you know, I, I got some cells coming up and it, I, I think what what really happened was once I began to tilt and stretch this piece a little bit, that's when I realized this just wasn't going to work. And the, the, the vision I had in my head just wasn't going to cut it. And so I guess I was just having one of those days in the studio where, you know, <laughs> you see this vision, but it's not working for you. You try a lot of things and ultimately you end up scraping. And I, I really thought that that was going to happen with this piece. But, um, you know, I, I just kind of kept playing with it. And I think the catalyst help, uh, I think that is what caused this painting to go in a completely different direction with a completely different look than what I originally had planned. And... Um, it just kind of evolved from there. And so I am so grateful that I didn't scrape this canvas because I am in love with the end result. And I ultimately end up calling this piece um, Colorado High. It's very different and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I hope you will be too. So like I said, stick around, watch this process. Some of it was done off camera. Again, I apologize for that, um, but I think you'll be pleased. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do read them and I do respond. And again, like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And um, I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video now and um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just really thrilled with it. Just really, really, really thrilled with it. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscription, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for future uploads. And until next time, guys, stay safe, take care and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.